Hi, this is Joanna, and today I wanted to make a relatively short video about two spiritual books. If you are looking for something spiritual to read, to study on a regular basis, either weekly or daily during your morning or evening rituals, I have something to offer. One book is The Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes, and the other is A Course in Miracles. Please don't get confused by my stickers. These are my stickers. The book actually is plain navy blue with white or gold letters like this. So which one should you choose? Should you read both at the same time? I don't think so. It is possible, but why not dive deeper into one and study one? Here is how I would approach it. If you are completely new to A Course in Miracles, find a Course in Miracles teacher and participate in the meetings either in person or on Zoom because A Course in Miracles is going to mess up with your mind. It's going to challenge your thinking, but also there is a sort of language that you have to adjust to. The book is going to challenge a different part of your brain with its language, but also with its concepts. This is an amazing thing to experience because you are going to open yourself up to the concept of miracles. What are miracles? And you will start noticing them in your life and also creating them in your life. There is no ma nothing magical about it. These are simply natural miracles. So it is based on Christian faith. You will find references to stories in the Bible and so on and the language of the Bible. However... This book was channeled in the 70s to prepare us for what's coming, for, to prepare us for the new times. I would say this book is more difficult than the science of mind. So that's why it's good to start reading that book with a teacher. A Course in Miracles and the Science of Mind are kind of repetitive and that is good. It is important to pay attention in the beginning to those concepts, but don't worry, those concepts are going to be repeated later on. You want to make sure that um, when you buy this book, there are numbers by each paragraph, because when you read it in the group, then there is a reference to those paragraphs. I had one version that didn't have the numbers and I always was lost in the group. What are we actually reading? Get ready, this book is going to mess with your mind in a good way. It's going to open you up to more inner peace. It definitely has practical application in our daily life. With A Course in Miracles, give yourself at least a year to read it. If you are very busy, give yourself more than a year. Moving on to the science of mind. I simply started reading this book because I wanted to read something in my um, daily spiritual practice that is pretty short, but it has to be. And the science of mind uses much easier language. And it's important to start from the beginning because of the concepts, because of the definitions. It talks a lot about healing and the power of healing with the mind. It brings a lot of clarity to people who are spiritual healers, energy healers, coaches, therapists, um, hypnotherapists, because it shows us where is our responsibility and also it allows us to work on ourselves. You know the saying, healer, heal yourself. Both of these books talk about it. Both of these books help us to do this. I think this one makes this concept more accessible. I also love their prayers. Because I work so much with the subconscious mind and the relation of conscious uh, mind to the subconscious mind, this book was really, really helpful for me to even deepen my uh, understanding of the processes. So, of course, I started using it in my hypnotherapy sessions and it also strengthened my faith in the power of the mind. Now, what do they both have in common? Both A Course in Miracles and The Science of Mind can be opened on a random page when you are looking for an answer to your current question. They both are going to teach you about love, faith, forgiveness. They will reconnect you to the Holy Spirit. 
they both will help you to have more optimistic outlook on the life spirit and afterlife they are both going to help you to access deeper inner peace they both talk about the healing power of the mind so you can actually contemplate it and practice it in your daily life both will help you to release the unnecessary suffering emotional and spiritual and existential suffering so let me know in the comments which of these books you are uh, more interested in and let me know if you have any questions about them in the comments if you have already studied any of these books what was it like for you what did they help you with in your life how did your life change your external and internal life because you studied these books Thank you so much for watching and if you want to connect with me in my next video, please click subscribe and hit the bell and thank you if you have already done it.